economic development doesn't just come in the shape of cold, hard cash. It can also be made out of concrete. As part of the Bay County Artificial Reef Program, more than 30 of the massive man-made reefs were dropped into the Gulf earlier this morning. News 13's Emily McLeod tagged along and got a first-hand look. She tells us these massive structures will not only support wildlife, but our local economy. Scott Jackson, a Sea Grant Extension agent for Bay County, says in the next three to five years, the artificial reefs being dropped in the Gulf will grow into a bustling home for marine life. They'll be used because uh, you know, just a day or two, we'll start to see some of the bait fish arrive, some of the migratory species come through, like a barracuda or something like that. And then subsequently, we should see uh, prized reef fish. The goal of the artificial reefs is to help the Gulf of Mexico recover after the Deepwater Horizon oil spill in 2010. I'm proud of, of how we can respond and recover from those types of things, and these reefs will help ensure that response to continue uh, now. So I'm excited about that. The man-made reefs will not only impact the environment and the economy, it will also affect the dive community. Uh, number one, people like to just even sightsee to see the fish life that's on there. Uh, number two, um, spear fishermen like to harvest fish off of those reefs. Um, so it's, it's great for divers. Brian Robinson is the general manager of Divers Den. He says the artificial reefs will attract more divers to visit Panama City Beach. And when they come down and spend a half a day with us diving, um, they go to the rest of the town on the beach and, um, you know, patron other businesses that day and, and the weeks that they're here. This is phase two of the Bay County Artificial Reef Program. When complete, the goal is to deploy more than 200 man-made reefs into the Gulf. In Bay County, Emily McLeod, News 13, Panhandle Strong.